What's up guys? Welcome to the video. Uh, something pretty cool happened recently. The History Channel reached out to me and they want me to promote on Instagram their new show, or it's not a new show, it's a new season, of Vikings, which my buddy Pat was watching the entire way back from Europe. I'm like, sure! What do you want me to do? They're like, well, we sent you this horn and we just want you to take an Instagram photo with it. I'm like, okay, but I got to do it in my own little special potato way. And I was like, okay, Vikings, what goes with Vikings? Milk and stretchy pants. So this is how we're gonna get the photo, but we're gonna, we're out here in the traffic because we think this is just the sickest way to do this. So, you ready, dude? All right, here we go. Sick, dude. You ready, dude? Right. One more time to it's it's lactating, dude. Uh -huh. I feel like a lot of people are gonna say, Max, you wasted that milk. This is whole milk and I would never waste it. So you know there's like the gallon challenge? How much do you think I this is like it's right here. You think I can drink this whole half a gallon in one scene? Yeah. You have a throw? I gotta do deadlifts in a little bit. All right, here we go, guys. I'm out. <coughs> Another long day of packing orders. Shout out, ooh, that's sour. Shout out to everyone who placed an order on Cyber Monday because your order is already freaking out, dude. It's been about seven and a half hours slapping a bag and whatnot. Took a break to do that milk thing, and then afterwards I threw up in the bathroom. Um, but I didn't film that because that would have been an actual too sick of an angle. I'm not gonna lie guys, I don't want to do deadlifts right now. For the first time in my life, I got the stretchy pants on, I got the converses on, don't wanna do deadlifts. But luckily it's only like 445 pounds because I'm actually following the program now. So it's not gonna be that hard. All right, 445 pounds. I'm not in the mood, but this isn't gonna be very hard. And I know you're like, Max, how are you so strong at the deadlift, man? What is your secret? Guys, first of all, I'm a, I'm, I'm a superhero. I'm, I'm Captain Skinny Legs, and I've never told you guys this, but I, there's a little thing that I say in my head every time I deadlift that it gives me the powers, and you can do it too, but I'm gonna say it out loud this time. So, turn up your volume, and I'm gonna, and just like, just listen, okay? It's an ancient uh, deadlifting phrase. You ready? Gentlemen may cry peace, peace, but there is no peace. Why stand be here idle? Life so dear or peace so sweet as to be purchased at the price of slavery? Forbid it, almighty God. I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me deadlifts. So my last video that talked about business got a lot of positive feedback, so I want to give you another insight into my brain hole. So I think a big reason why Everford Apparel is so successful is because people can relate to the brand or they can relate to me, they have the connection. And if you create something, you need to have like almost like a meaning or a purpose behind it. You can't just put a sick flaming bird as like your you know mascot and be like, I'm the sickest athletic company in the world. Like people are, it's gonna phase out. Like you need a connection with the brand. And with me, you know, people can relate to the Everford, the mantra, the message, or they can relate to me. They can connect with me as a, as a human. They've seen me start Everford Apparel over here and they, uh, they see me put in the work and they connect with it and they like they feel like a part of it they feel part of the family because like you know when I have issues and I have downs and I have ups and I lose money like I tell everything you know everything that ends and outs of the business and you have that connection you see me kind of transition through life and you know hopefully kind of go like this and I want to motivate all of you guys to do that as well I got some comments in my last video about the more life series they're like oh I didn't really watch that it got less views because that's like an unrealistic thing. Not everyone can go on these like lavish vacations and like, you know, do all that. We want relatability. You know, we want videos at home because we can relate to that. I can't relate to you traveling. Guys, I'm living proof, living example of you can. Like I literally, I've started graduating college and going to a job and then doing something I love and keep putting in the work, keep putting in the work. And when everyone made fun of me for making videos, I continue to do it. 
And like, and now I'm at this point. I'm living proof that you can do that too. It's, it may not be through YouTube, it may not be through social media, but everyone has the possibility to do these things. Like, I'm not like an anomaly. I, I do have really small legs and a big deadlift, but I'm not, like I'm not like, it, if someone else has the ability to do something, best believe you can do that shit too. You put your mind to it and get off your ass and actually put in some, you know, some work. Speaking of people that have been following me for a long time, you really have like seen me progress through life. I wonder who's been following me like the longest. Let me try to think. Leave some comments down below if you can answer these three questions. What cereals did I used to mix together all the time? Where did I used to hide my protein in my old house because I ordered a ton of it? And at my old girlfriend's house, girlfriend's, what did I put in a blender that when I turned it on, it went all over her kitchen? If you can answer those questions, you are a true OG of the channel, and you've seen me keep moving in, you know, this weird world we call life. But, guys, you can do anything you want to do. One day you can do this exact thing that I'm doing right here. If you put in the freaking work, dude. Haters on YouTube be like, oh my god, you're so skinny, Max. So here's a crazy sight. All of these shelves were filled on Thursday. This was all compression gear. This was all the large t-shirts. This is all of the large t-shirts that I've left. This is all of the medium t-shirts I've left. Like, <laughs> it's insane. It is currently 12.15 in the morning and I stayed late to finish up every single order. We had 2,300 and some change orders since Thursday. Like, <laughs> you wiped the entire store out. Thank you guys. And every single order that was placed since Thursday has been shipped as you're watching this video. So it's been some long days, long weekends, and now I'm, I'm really hungry and, and tired. A huge thing that I want to stress to any business owner or any ins inspiring, aspiring business owners to understand the mistakes are going to happen and you're not freaking perfect. You're not perfect, dude. I know, you're like, Max, I, with that hair, I thought you were perfect. I'm not. And you're not going to be and no one is ever going to be. And like throughout your business, you're going to have mistakes. You're going to have errors. And the biggest thing you can do is figure out how you can learn from them and improve. Trust me, I put tons of time and effort into every aspect of my clothing brand, whether it be the quality of the fabrics, the quality of the packaging material, the, the, the you know, just the durability of everything, the way that I have my shipping logistics, you know, whole thing set up at the end of the day, I'm going to, you know, package an, uh, an order wrong. People are going to get the wrong thing. Uh, there's going to be a product that has a defect. There's going to be a product that I didn't know that there's an issue. An issue comes up. And the biggest thing that I can tell you guys is how can you improve? How can you improve your product? How can you improve the supply chain management in your business? Like always be looking to improve. Always understand that mistakes are going to happen. And the biggest thing is can you learn from it, man? And the answer is yes. And it's also like 12.30 and I'm really freaking cold and the cert is so warm. Let's go get some food. Hi, can I place a, uh, an order for pickup? This looks like a good place for a sick angle. So sick, dude. See on my camera, don't worry. Yum, 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 yum,
Steak, chicken, potatoes, rice, chicken curry, and the best thing ever, some un nan nan, what's your name? I love bread. Bread's probably my favorite food besides candy. Mmm. It has been a long weekend. It's been a long night. I'm gonna eat this, go to sleep, and I'm not gonna set an alarm tomorrow. I'm just gonna sleep in because I need some rest. What time do you think I'm gonna wake up? Find out in three, two, one. Didn't end up going to bed till about 2.30 and 8.45. Why? Why? Smoothie, yeah, yeah. I missed you while I was traveling, but you're back in my life now. Time for the secret ingredient. Today's the 28th. This bag says used by the 25th. The leaves are kind of wet. They're just leaves, dude. Leaves don't expire. Fact. Oh, they're all stuck together. Ah! I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I have been an advocate of taking a multivitamin and a fish oil ever since I've started my channel, and I've been slacking, especially while I've been trapped. Why do vitamins always that smell like buttholes? I don't know what a butthole smells like. I really like the ghost fish oil because I used to have to take like three or four, but this bad boy is so freaking dose with 1250 MGs. Ah. Health. If you guys don't make a smoothie every morning, what are you doing with your life? Also, the blueberry toaster pastry is the best combo for the smoothie. I have the new flavors, the white chocolate peppermint bark and the and the and the snickerdoodle protein, but I don't think that would be good in a fruit smoothie. You wanna know why? Because blueberry's the best! Oh my gosh, Max, are those the new Yeezys you just got? Wow, they're so sick. I can't believe they finally came in. <laughs> no, they're not, because Kanye West is apparently a huge fan of Zoolander because these shoes are for ants. What is this? A center for ants? What? How can we be expected to teach children to learn how to read if they can't even fit inside the building? The last Yeezys I got, I got a size 10. My normal size in athletic shoes. And they were too small, so I was like, you know what, this time we're sizing up half a size and they're too small. Maybe they check, and they're too small. Stupid, stupid shoes. Hey guys, check this out. Uh, I don't know if you follow all my social media, but this is GQ Portugal. You might be like, Max, are you reading GQ? Maybe you can get some actual style instead of looking like an old man. No, it's your boy. Your boy is in GQ Portugal. We have a whole picture right there. My nipples are hard. I guess it was cold in there or I was really excited. And we got a whole article. And then we have a whole workout uh, routine split thing right over here. Pretty cool. Actually, very cool. Next step. Cover of America Edition. Sexiest man alive. Not Christian, is actually Max. I'm actually gonna end the video here. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna freaking get some fitness on. And then I might go to the grocery store and get some food for tomorrow because I might make a day of eating video. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the thumbs up button. Leave some comments down below what kind of videos you want me to make. Should I travel somewhere or should I just keep doing the same thing every single day? But making it fun and, and sick, dude. Peace. I'm so wacky.